we still have 30 seconds. So before we get started, uh, thank you for coming. And if you have not yet, oh, that's that. Uh, took, I've taken your bulletin and the communion cup, please take one for you, which you can find on the table here. Bulletin and the communion cup. Okay, we will have the communion today. So please take one for you. And just right next to the table, there's a trash can. So after the communion, before you leave, we just throw this away here in the trash can. And also on the table, there is offering plate. So please, if you bring yours, thank you very much. And please take, uh, leave your offering in the offering plate. We're not gonna, uh, uh, we're not going to pass the, pass the offering plate, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, Fern. Beautiful. Everybody else is set? One, the bulletin. The other, the communion cup. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Richard and Linda. If you need water, please just open the box. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Would you join me in our mission? Please open your bulletin and let's proclaim our mission. Faith United Methodist Church's mission is to share God's love and encourage others through worship and service to our community and beyond. Thank you very much for coming this beautiful day. So far, so good, right? First, it's a bit different as long as I'm speaking, so I'm gonna just make things quick and simple. Do you have any announcement this morning? Yes, sir. I'd like to uh, gather with the members of AST at the picnic table and the for about two minutes. Okay, AST meeting after church. Two minutes, he said. Not me, two minutes. Anyone else? All right, if not, if you are able, if you are able, okay, if you are able, would you please stand and let's sing our opening hymn, Come Thou Almighty King, which you can find in the insert here. Come Thou Almighty
morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. The scripture reading this morning is from 1 Corinthians, first, I mean chapter 3, verses 5 through 9. What then is Apollos? What's Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and each will receive wages according to their own labor. For we are God's co-workers working together. You are God's field, God's building. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Thank you for being here today, and I'm so glad to be back to you. Uh, 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 you know, I shared this with the AS AST last Tuesday, but uh, did I tell you about this, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, as you know, uh, we, my family, we visited our families in South Korea, so we just came back. We spent two weeks over there and then came back last Monday. Uh, you know, all of us, all of us, myself, my wife, and my three kids, we all were born in South Korea. So in other words, we still, our citizenship is still Korean, not American. I was born and raised over there and spent more than more than 35 years, I think, and about 40 years over there. My parents, my sister, friends, they are still there. Uh, but it was really strange. It, it's really strange to me that I didn't feel why I was staying there with my parents, my parents-in-law, sister, brother-in-laws and sisters-in-laws and nephews, whoever else. I, yeah, I was glad to see them, but I didn't feel like, okay, I, I was home. You know, that's my home country, still. When we were back to the United States, uh, we laid over Detroit, Michigan. Once, once we stopped over Detroit, and then it's really strange. Okay, I felt okay. Now I am home. When we got back to the Parsonage last Monday, I was really relieved that okay, I am home now. What I want to tell you this morning is that I am so glad to be back home, back to you. Glad. This is my home. Yeah, of course, that, that is my home too, but this is my home. You are my family. The church is my home too. So again, very good to see you. Very good to be back to you. And thank you for your prayers and support for us. We all, all of us, are you okay now? Are you okay? You're okay. <laughs> My wife doesn't look like okay. <laughs> we were okay. Yeah, we had a good time with families. Uh, two weeks to me is two weeks was really long time, but for some of us it was very really short. But it was good enough. Good enough. We still are struggling with this different time zone but yeah every day is getting better better and better okay so again thank you thank you oh uh, last month last june young my wife and i we attended my youngest son's graduation ceremony for fifth graders 
it's crazy. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, you know, he was three years old when we came to the United States. Okay, but now he'll be a middle, he will go to middle school. You want to go to the middle school? No? <laughs> Whatever. And yeah, during the ceremony, there was a time of rewards for the graduate, for the fifth graders, and for teachers and staff who, who serve the school uh, or who retire. And yeah, you know, families, teachers, staff, and all those in the gym, they congratulated them, fifth graders, teachers, and staff, those who received rewards. They just congratulate them all on their result and all their hard work. You know, when people, when we do something special, something good or something great, some of us or some of them, most or most of them, expect to receive praise and honor from others. They want to gain some recognition for their work. Or some people, very, I, I think very few people, but some people demand, frankly, honor and praise for their accomplishment. And sometimes this is found in the church too. Behold what I'm doing for you. <laughs> 2,000 years ago, St. Paul wrote a letter to a faith community in the city of Corinth in Greece. As the Corinthians were coming together as a church, they began to talk about their work and their leaders whom they admired and followed. Hey, listen, I follow Paul. He did great work for us, and I worked with him too. I think Paul and I deserve to receive some recognition from you. The other side, somebody raised their hand. Hey, no way! Apollos has done incredible things, more and better than Paul. He needs to be praised from the church. So let's celebrate Apollos and his work this Sunday. St. <laughs> Paul, he heard about this kind of division in the ch Corinthian church. So he wrote them a letter, which we now call the First Corinthians. In the letter, in the passage we read this morning, St. Paul asked in verse 5, What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. You know, St. Paul does not ask who is Apollos, who is Paul? Rather, he said, what then is Apollos? In Greek, it's neutral. What is Paul? Whether it's Apollos or Paul, myself, people, Corinthians, listen to me. We are, we all are God's servants. We are just tools which God is using. Through us, you came to know God, and you came to trust God. And Apollos, are, uh, Apollos and I are merely God's servants, God's tools to help you. And St. Paul continues in verses 6 through 7. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So, yes, we finally figured out who watered the grass here on the lawn this morning. It's not me, okay? It's Apollos. He watered. <laughs> but St. Paul says, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. But only God who gives the growth. St. Paul asserts that no human being, no matter how great they look like, 
No human being can give life, but only God, the Creator, can do. Only God, the true giver of life, and we all, human beings, we are receivers. In the letter, St. Paul does not undervalue the work done by himself, Apollos, or others. Rather, he stress, he highlights that they are all God's servants, regardless of their reputation. They are those whom God called and used for the church no matter what human servants of God are doing, it is God who can give life and growth. Christ is the center of the church, and all God's people, we all, should be connected with one another around Christ. My sisters and brothers in Christ, again, it's good to be back to you, good to be back to home, good to be back to the church. And it's really great to see one another. And it's really wonderful to worship our God together this morning. Thank you. God calls some of us to plant the seed. God calls some of us to water it. Most importantly, God calls all of us to work together faithfully. God does not call us for being responsible for success because only God, not me, not you, not anyone else, but only God can make it grow. Only God can give life. We all are the recipients of God's grace. We all are God's servants. Through Jesus Christ, his life, suffering, death, and resurrection, God has given us salvation, life, and growth. Through Jesus Christ, God gives us life together with our families, friends, and neighbors so that that we will know that God gives the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. Amen. Uh, please, let's see the communion here which you can find in your insert. <laughs> 621, be present at our table, Lord. Pretty short and simple. Be present at our table, Lord, be here and everywhere adore. Thy creatures bless and grant that we may feast in paradise with thee. Amen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just followed the habit. All right. Do you all have the communion cup? Okay. Yeah, just be ready. That's all right. If you have not, there are communion cups here. And you have the script of the communion, right? Insert of the communion. In the bulletin, there are two inserts. Three. One. Is the he? The other one is the communion he. Last one is this communion script. You got it. Beautiful. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with the people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn, Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to disciples and said, take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to, gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty action, Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice, in union with Christ's offering for us, as we proclaim the mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them before us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now with the confidence of children of God, let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, please take a prefill uh, communion cup. On top, please peel off, and you will take... It's not bread, by the way. Offer our bells. If you need help, raise your hand so that I will help you. You got it? The body of Christ given for you. Amen. Let's see it together. You peel off the cup. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Let's drink together. <coughs> And here's church. So after church, we let's pray together. Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit, 
to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're going to sing the closing hymn. Then, uh, again, we're not going to pass the offering place, so if you have not yet put your offering, uh, leave your offering. Uh, please leave your offering plate, offering in the offering plate here. And after the benediction, we're going to share our joys and concerns. So if you are able, would you please stand and let's sing our closing hymn together. Come, thou fount of every blessing. Come, thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, Call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious song and song by flaming tongues above. Praise the mountain fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. Here I am, is my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I'm come. And I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me with a stranger, wandering from the fold of God. He to rest me from danger, interposed his precious blood. Oh, to grace, how great a debtor. Daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a feather, bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to lift the God I love. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. together. <laughs> Gracious God, we offer our lives and the fruit of our labors to you this morning, that we may proclaim the life of Jesus Christ, the true gift to all, in whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers in Christ, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace this day and forevermore. Amen.